everyone, it's Julia here from shinystarreadings.simple.com here to do your weekly forecast reading for today, Monday the 21st of September all the way through to Sunday the 27th of September now I'm using the black and white Faulkner Tarot deck these are the first modern day photographic tarot deck so let's just see what the guidance is, what the messages are, what can we expect for the upcoming week ahead. Now all three of those, you could see that, they were sticking out, so they wanted to come out. Okay, we start the week with the moon, number 18 in the Major Arcana. Um, not the best start, to be honest, because this can be the, the card of caution. Basically, you know, you may find as you go through Monday and Tuesday that there's a particular situation going on around you where you can't see clearly. So things are perhaps a little bit clouded. Maybe we need a little bit more time to reflect to see what's going to materialise. So we do need to be a little bit on our guard, actually. Um, just let things go. Go with the flow over Monday and Tuesday and see what happens. Okay, because, you know, we have got a full moon coming, um, but that's not until the 28th. So maybe this particular situation, we need to wait until the 28th of September before we can really act on it because we kind of do just completely feel in the dark at the moment so whatever the situation is guys just give it a little bit of time okay we don't want to commit to something do we if we don't know all the facts okay so just bide your time okay seven of pentacles so there seems to be a lot of reflection I want to say going on this week because the seven of pentacles pentacles does relate to money in the Faulkner tarot but we can see just by looking at the card that our lady here has two piles of coins and you know she's in deep thought isn't she it's almost as if we've got a little bit of a worry you know which route do we go down it's it's as if we have got a decision to make maybe um, this card often talks about the situation being slow growth, but which is the best option? Do, do we stay with this pile or this option or do we go with this option? Okay, now there may be a situation going on that is slow growth, but it will eventually be successful. Okay, for some of you, you may even find that there is a bit of a pause in progress um, and this can relate to any situation really that's going on around you. So there seems to be a feel here, um, a theme running through the week of having to sit and wait. Okay, you know, you may be feeling tired, you may be feeling exhausted. And, you know, a lot of those things can have that knock-on effect. So just be a little bit patient. I do want to say keep your thoughts positive all right because things will turn out okay in the end even if it takes a little bit more time okay so final card friday saturday and sunday so here we have the nine of swords so again this feels very much like a continuation of the journey of the week um again nine of swords isn't one of my favorite cards to come out in a reading because it can talk about sad endings and actually something not working out you know maybe we had this um, high hopes for a particular situation but it just feels as if everything's just sort of going down the drain so to speak now we will get over any situation and the way I like to look at this if if it wasn't right for us in the first place then it has to end for that new door to open up and the thing is with the nine of swords swords is very much about our thoughts the thinking you know to me this is a little bit like the 
2am, 3am kind of card. You know, we all worry. We've all got that fear. You know, it's a natural human response. But we can put ourselves through so, so much. Um, normally before a situation has occurred. So I want to say just, just again, I'm talking about going with the flow. You know, if it's not meant to be, let it go because there's more brilliant stuff coming in around you and sometimes we can't see it at the time you know we have to be a little bit patient all right so if any of you would like your own personal forecast reading pop along to the website shinystarreadings.simple.com or you can drop me a message on my facebook page have a fantastic week guys and remember, keep your thoughts positive. There's a lot of reflection and a lot of waiting and worry, I feel, is sort of going around us this week. So be kind to yourself. Lots of love. Bye.